Dennis. Dennis. Where is this boy? Yes, Mom. You called me? Yes, Dennis. I want us to go to the supermarket to buy some items. All right, Mother. Let me change my clothes. Okay. I will be waiting for you. Few minutes later, Candy and Dennis driving to the supermarket. It's not the hardest thing to do. How can I question you? Throw my life into the fray, like go and live my life your way. Dennis, I was thinking of changing our bathing soap. What do you think? I think it is a good idea because the soap at home itches the body. Dennis, meet Debbie at the supermarket. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Dennis. How is everything with you? Why were you guys not in the church yesterday? We did not come to the church because of my mother. Your mother? Yes. What happens to your mother? My mother was rushed to the hospital because of her kidney failure. Oh, that is very bad. Who is Dennis talking to? Is that not the Richard girl? I told him to stay away from. Dennis, Dennis, come here. I am going to deal with this boy. Okay, Debbie. My mother is calling me. Please take care of your mother and send my regards to her. I will come to the hospital to see you guys. Send me the address of the hospital. Here is my phone number: zero one five two one fifteen zero zero four hundred. I call it again: zero one five two one fifteen zero zero four hundred. Thank you, Dennis. I will forward the address to you later. Regards to your parents. Candy and Dennis are back from the supermarket. You stupid boy! Was that not the Ray Chet girl? I told you to stay away from, or you want them to affect you with diseases and poverty. Why did you always disobey me, Dennis? Mommy, I am not disobeying you. Father told me to be nice to everyone. And besides, Debbie is a very nice person, and she and her family attend the same church with us. You must be very stupid. Am I your father? You do what I say. Mummy, but God says we should love everyone. Mark 12 verses 31 says we should love our neighbors. You are very stupid. Did I ask you for your samer? Stay away from that girl. Did I make myself clear? Yes, mother. Say it very well. Yes, mother. Silly boy. Nonsense. Moment later, Dennis lamented. Why is my mother so difficult? She says she is a Christian, but she is very wicked. God says we should love our neighbors. Aren't we supposed to do good to others? But this mother of mine is trying to teach me hate. Oh God, help me! You says we should love and not hate, and I will not discriminate anyone, no matter what I will go through for my mother. This is my promise to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy on my mother. Forgive her, oh God. What is going on, Dennis? I heard you lamenting. She want me to stay away. From Deborah, who want you to stay away from Deborah, and who is Deborah? Daddy, mommy want me to stay away from Deborah because they are not successful like us. Mother called her in her family names. She says they will affect me with poverty and diseases. What she says that? Yes, that is what she says. That is very bad. Don't worry, I will talk to her. Keep on being nice to others. But who is Deborah? Debra is Mr. Francis' daughter. Mr. Francis is one of the usher in the church. Oh, Mr. Francis! Yes, I know him. He is a very nice person, and the family are very nice. Yes, Daddy, they are nice, and not just only that. Father, they are also our Christian brethren. And I meet Debra today at the supermarket. She said her mother was rushed to the hospital, and she was diagnosed for kidney failure. What? That is serious. I know they might need some financial help. Yes, Daddy. I think so. I told Debbie I will visit them at the hospital. That is good, son. I will give you some money to give to them, just to support them, and you will send my regards to them as well. Thank you, Daddy. That will be very nice. Finish what you are doing and go to the bed. Okay, Daddy. I will do that now. Good night, sir. Three days later, Dennis driving to the hospital to see Debbie and the mother. God save Debbie, mother. Please, father. You says in Psalm 91 verses 15, when we'll call on you, you will answer and rescue us. Please, God, heal Deborah, mother. This family don't have the money to spend for hospital bills. 
I only have the money my father asked me to give to them. It is just too small, of what the doctor demanded. Lord Deborah, explain all their situations to me through a chat. Last night, this family need your help. Oh Lord, show your mercy. Dennis arrive at hospital. Hello Dennis, thanks for coming. Hello Debbie, how are you doing? I am fine, by God grace. And where is your mother? She is in her ward. Come let's go to her. I told her you are coming. Okay. Mommy Dennis is here, the boy I told you about, he is here, to see how you are doing. It is okay Debbie, where is he? Hello Ma, how are you doing now? I don't know my son, I just pray God heal me, and how is your parents? They are fine, my father sent his regards. Thank you, that is good of him, Deborah, has told me, that you are the son of Elder Mavilus in our church, thank you for visiting me, may God bless you richly. Thank you Ma, don't worry God will heal you, and you will be fine again, and my father send you, some money, I know it is not enough, this will assist you for your medication, I will give it to Deborah now. Thank you very much, I am grateful, regards to your father Deborah at the temple. Oh God, have mercy on my family, please Lord, heal my mother, we don't have money to pay for treatment, Lord you says in Psalm 50 verses 15 will should call on you in the day of our trouble, and you will deliver us, please show us your mercy, and deliver my mother, heal her Jesus. Deborah, stop crying, the Lord, has heard your cry, he says, he will heal your mother, go home, she will be fine. Thank you Jesus. Thank you sir, God bless you. Two weeks later. Mrs. Ida, I have a good news, for you, there is a change in your health, your kidney is recovery, this is miracle, I notice. You are a good Christian, because I see you pray always, and I think, the Lord has healed you. I will be sending you home, in three days time, please I would like to speak to your husband. Thank you doctor. Oh thank you Jesus, for healing me, I am so grateful. Deborah father, at the doctor office. Mr. Francis. I sent for you, because in three days time, I will be sending your wife home, because her kidney is getting better. You guys faith in God has healed her, but, I want to tell you about the hospital bill. Thank you, for the good news, my wife is very happy, may the name of our Lord be praised. Please doctor, what is the cost, of our bill? Your bill is $2,500. That is a lot of money doctor, please can you reduce from it? I have not see, that kind of money, oh God help me. Don't worry, Mr. Francis, God has already helped you. What? Elder Meverless, has cleared your hospital bill. What? Elder Meverless, Dennis' father, Deborah told me, about him, for the money he sent, to us, for my wife medication. Oh my God, Jesus. I can wait to see this man, to thank him. Thank you Jesus, this is indeed miracle. Thank you doctor, I am grateful. You are welcome. Honey, have you seen the doctor? Yes I have. What did he says? It is all about the hospital bill. And how much is the bill? He said, it is $2,500. Oh my goodness, how can we'll pay that? The money in the account is very little. Oh God, please help us. No, my love, please don't cry. God has already helped us. God heal you and still pay your hospital bill. May the name of God be praised. It is a good God. What? How did God pay my hospital bill? My love. This is the good news. Elder Marvelous, Dennis' father, pay your hospital bill. What? Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. We need to pay him a visit of appreciation. Yes, honey. When I get back home, we need visit him. Three days later, Deborah's mother was back from the hospital. Deborah, you says you were the one that told Dennis Will could not pay our hospital bill? Yes, father. I am very sorry if I was wrong. No, Debbie. It is okay. Because we'll don't really have the money, because you told Dennis, I think Dennis told his father. And do you know what? Dennis' father, clear our hospital bill. What? Thank you Jesus, that man is a very nice person, father, it was when I meet Dennis at the park. He asked me about our situation, and I told him my fear is our hospital bill. Debbie how is your mother? She is at the hospital, she getting better, I just want to say thank you for the money we are grateful this is why I ask you to meet me here how is your father 
My father is fine, is at the shop. Is the shop really busy? I mean are you guys really selling? Not much, this is one of my fear, because I don't know how we are going to pay our hospital bill. Don't fear, trust in the Lord, everything will be fine. Thank you Dennis, for everything, I am so grateful. Thank you Deborah, I am so proud of you, it is said, a problem share, is a problem solve, thank you my dear. Mummy, may the name, of our Lord, be praised. The next day, Deborah and her father, went to visit Dennis' father, in order to show, their appreciation. Who are you? And what do you want? Good afternoon madam, I am Mr. Francis, please I have come with my daughter Deborah to see Elder Marvelous, to let him know we are very grateful for what he did. What he did? What is that he did for you? Madam, your husband is a very nice person. I know, but you have not answered my question. Yes ma, he helped my family, when I needed help for my wife hospital bill, Elder Marvelous paid our hospital bill, he is a godsend to us, and we are very grateful. You must be very stupid. What? Take your miserable self, out of here, don't come and affect us with your deces and poverty. It was you guys, my husband spent the sum of money, he spent from the account, and he refused to tell me when I asked him, get out with your miserable daughter from my house, before I call the police on you, nonsense. Okay madam, do not call the police we are living. Daddy you called me. Yes Dennis, I called you. Please can you get me some water to drink? Okay sir. Tanya who was that that? He was a nobody. What do you mean, he was a nobody? That to say somebody was really at the door. What did you just did? You sent him away. Did you know, I am expecting, a colleague, from my company. Oh my god. What have you just done, with this bad behavior of yours? Please do not shout at me that way. I did not see your colleague, I only see, Mr. Poverty Stinking, Francis and his stupid daughter. He was here to thank you, for spending our money, on his diseased wife. What? And you sent him away. May God have mercy on you. You claim to be a Christian, but you disgust the poor. Remember, I did not meet you, as a rich girl. You were once poor living in a small house with your parents it is god who blesses man this is why it is wrong to look down on others you grow up in poverty but today god has blessed you through marriage now you call others stinking oh god forgive her she don't know what she is doing i don't care it is you god will forgive dennis what are you doing daddy i was thinking to come and tell you deborah says her father wanted come to your office daddy now you hear what to tell her? Dennis they will be fine, it is okay, he can come to my office. Alright sir, I will send the address now, to Deborah. Two days later Mr. Francis, visit Elder Maverless, at the office. Mr. Francis, I want to apologize, on behalf, of my wife, for the insult, she gave to you, the other day, at my house, please do forgive her. I have forgiven her, I forgive her that instantly, sir, I am not supposed to grieved over her you have done enough for us the devil was just trying to cause offense so that we will not be able to appreciate what you have done for us god encourage us in james 4 verses 7 to resist the devil and he will flee from us for this i did not border over what she did i just want to say thank you on behalf of my family we are grateful oh that is nice of you thank you if you need any help i am always here remember this if the lord blesses you do not also forget the needy. Yes sir, I will remember this words. Thank you. Regards to your family, as I take my leave now. Thank you, and regards to yours. Ten years later. Hello Toby, how are you doing today? I am fine thank you. It's nice seeing you, Dr. Deborah. It is good you are back, from your holiday. It seems, you were called, to come back early, because you were supposed to spend one month, but it is just two weeks, and you are back. Yes Topi, I received a call from Dr. Elias, he told me there is a situation, and he cannot handle it. Yes doctor, there is this woman that was rushed to the hospital by her son, Dr. Elias says she is battling with her kidney. Yes, that is why, I was asked to come back immediately, I will be seeing her any moment from now. Hello miss, how are you feeling today? I am Dr. Deborah, don't worry everything will be fine, you're now in a good hands. God will heal you. Thank you doctor, I don't think, 
God can still heal me, because analysis says my both kidney is already bad, I think, I cannot survive this, oh God have mercy, for all my wicked ways. No don't cry ma, it, will be well. Hello sir, please can I go in and see my mother? Yes sir, you can. Mummy, have they sent you something to eat? Yes they have, and how is your father? My father is fine, he is just trying to arrange for the necessary, opportunity, to fly you abroad, but the only problem, we are still looking for that person that can give you a kidney donor. Oh God help me, I don't want to die, show me your mercy, I have learned, it is good to be nice to people, have mercy on me Lord. Mother, don't worry God will show mercy, has the doctor checked on you? Yes Dennis, Dr. Deborah has come to check on me. Okay that is nice moment later, Mrs. Candy, was examined by one of the doctors. Mrs. Candy, I am afraid, your situation is not improving. Your husband, needs to do something, quickly as possible, to get you a donor. Dr. Deborah will see you in a minutes, to carry out, some treatments on you. This will sustain you for a little while. Oh God why me why me, please help me. Hello sir, where is Mrs. Candy? Miss Candy is by the doctor. Oh sorry. I told she was already back, from Dr. Elias. Excuse me doctor, you look so familiar, my mother talks about Dr. Deborah? Yes, I am Dr. Deborah. Which Deborah? Are you Deborah Francis? Yes, I am Deborah Francis. Oh my goodness, Debbie, it me Dennis. What? Dennis, you look sneak friend, this is why I couldn't recognize you. Nice seeing you again, and how was your studying abroad? Debbie everything is fine. I have a master in aeronautics engineering, but I received the call, from my father, to come back home, that my mother is dying, I have to live everything, I was doing abroad, and come back home, because my mother health, it is important, to me. That was beautiful, congratulations, for your achievement, don't worry, God will take care of your mother's situation. Thank you, Dr. Deborah, God says in all things, we well, should give thanks to God, Deborah. I am happy for you. You strong will so had, to become a doctor. This is beautiful. Thank you Dennis, you are one friend, I can never forget, you contribute, to my success. I just want to say thank you. You don't need to thank me Debbie, seeing you, and your doctor Cossack, I am happy. My only pain, is for God to heal, my beloved mother. Her healthy situation, is very bad, we are looking for a donor. Dr. Elias says my kidney is not mocked for her. I wanted to give her one from mine. I just want to see her back on her feet again. I want her to live healthy and strong for me and my father. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Stop crying Dennis, it hurt me seeing you cry. Is okay, thank you. Deborah, why are you not sleeping? I had you crying, are you still crying over Dennis mother's situation? Please my love don't cry. Mummy, why I am crying, I can't be able to live Dennis, for his mother to die. My kidney is mocked for the mother, I just have to give her one from my... What? You wouldn't do that. Yes, I will do that, not because of her, but because of Dennis, who never want to see me cry. He has been of great help for me, from the time, you were once diagnosed of kidney. It is only when, he went abroad, I lose his communication with him because I misplaced my oh, phone. No. And his father has been of a great help to us. I just have to do this. God will protect our lives. Depend. The mother has asked God for mercy. And I know, God has I forgiven her. He is a merciful Christ God. First John 1 verses 9, God says, If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just, to forgive us our sin, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, you are right Deborah. Is just that, I am a little bit worried. Don't worry mummy, everything will be fine. Honey, we cannot stop Deborah, let's just put her in the hand of God. It is said, do what you want others to do to you. Dennis and the father, really help us in our time of difficulties. This is the time, for us to show that appreciation. Who knows, if God just want to test us, God allowed Dennis and Deborah to meet again in this crucial time. After 10 years, we are going to allow the will of God to be done. You are right, we only need to pray, for God's protection. Yes let the will of God be done. Deborah donated, one of her kidney to Dennis' mother, and they are both doing well. And the good news is that, Dennis took Deborah, as the bone of his bone, 
they live together ever happily. Thank you for watching this video. We just want to encourage you to always do good. God encourage us in Proverbs 19 verses 17. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. You see what happens in this video? It was the good Dennis and Elder Meverless did that make makes Deborah to give a donor to Mrs. Candy. This is why it is said what you do today will come back to you tomorrow. Please subscribe, like, share and leave a comment. If you have any, God bless you.